S is for science. T is for technology. It stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Discovery STEM Academy is very different from a traditional school because it is open-ended. There's a lot of flexible seating, flexible arrangements, natural light penetrating throughout the building. Students just have an opportunity to engage in a lot of project-based learning and hands-on learning. We are currently a K-4 STEM magnet. Um, we originally were a K-2 school and we added third grade last year, fourth grade this year, fifth grade the next year. And all of our curriculum is focused around an integrated STEM curriculum that infuses the STEM design with our state curriculum and real world experiences, hands-on experiences, lots of authentic learning, things that are relevant for kids. I think it's really important to start with STEM thinking and content at the elementary level because one thing, it's very challenging and rigorous. It allows young people to figure out things, the problem solving, the critical thinking. All of our units, when we design them in the cur with curriculum, is that they're content driven. And then we find the reading and math pieces that we can tie in together. And so with the integration pieces, taking the content, which is the real world things that the, the kids see applying in their everyday life, and using that to apply their reading and math skills in a way that's intrinsic to them and authentic to them. I think if you look at where we're going in our culture, everything's basing around science, technology, engineering, and math. So to get these kids started from the get-go in kindergarten, and you'll see them, the kindergartners walking and their teachers say, stop at the vertex. I mean, vertex aren't words that most classrooms use. I think STEM's important because it's where our future is going. The physical learning space here at Discovery STEM is so different than other schools. We have a collaborative learning zone and it's set up for them to go out and, and work. And this place is set up for them to go explore. We had the opportunity to work with the school system to actually develop the spaces, the learning spaces in this school that tied in directly to their curriculum. We worked with a lot of the teachers closely. We developed some educational signage. Uh, we tried to tie in things like the building system, the mechanical system, the structural system, and how can we showcase that for the student. So when they developed the curriculum as we're designing, it was a perfect match. The learning space, it's as fluid as the curriculum or, or fluid as the day needs to be. Um, it's driven by the students, the selective seating. There's just so many things we can do with our rooms and we can move things around whenever we want, however we want. And it's not just in our classrooms, it's out in our CLZs, it's going down learning lane, it's we use the Tinker Lab when we need to use the Tinker Lab. And the furniture is conducive because they're wheels, things fit together, there's a lot of different configurations. So it gave me that freedom and it wasn't difficult. I didn't need to call a custodian per se to come and help me because all I had to do was just unlock the wheels and move it. Philosophically, I think things work on us and we don't even know. If you're in a chair that doesn't move, you're not supposed to move. If I'm in this chair, I can move and I can get up and I can roll it around and I can go to another place. So I think there are these subliminal messages sent by furniture and trappings that say who we can be in a space. We are truly getting our kids ready for their careers and what their life is gonna be like out in the real world. The problem solving, the critical thinking, so the skills, and we call them college career and citizen ready skills, are gonna apply no matter what your next step will be. I think I would have been a better student if I could have gone to a school like Discovery STEM. But I think just being a part of pulling it all together and working with this fabulous staff to embrace STEM, embrace the design process, and get kids to be better thinkers, stronger thinkers, problem solvers, and, and passionate about what they're doing. I think that would be the greatest achievement.